All right, so picture this, you're galloping through town and you happen to see a stagecoach that you wanna rob and you ride on up to that thing, but hey, you need a way to tie up your horse quickly so you can make a quick getaway. Highwayman's Hitch, perfect for that. <whistles> quick getaway, coming right up after a few more seconds of the intro. The first part in tying a highwayman's hitch is to determine which is your working end and which is your standing end. The standing end, which will have all the line on it, is coming from the object that you're tying off. So whether this leads to your horse or a boat or something like that, that's what's going to happen with that. So you'll want enough slack, I'd say maybe you know 12 inches or so on the left side on your working end, and the first step is to form a bite and that bite is going to go into your anchor point. So let's say this was a cleat on the side of a dock or a hitching post or something like that. It would go inside or around the back side of that with the bite. And then once the bite is there, you can kind of hold it with your hand like so, and you're gonna form a second bite. Um, still keeping that working end off to your right, or sorry, the standing part. And once you have that, you're going to now pull the working end to tighten that down. So it'll look something like this. So now you've got the working end in your hand here because you're using that along with the other hand to kind of balance the knot as you're pulling tension. Because as you can see here, the tension is what kind of locks this bite in. Then while you're holding tension, you're gonna form a third bite like this, um, keeping that working end slack off to your right. And once that's in there, then you'll pull this standing part here and it'll start locking in that third bite. So it'll look something like that. So now everything is good to go and you're now secure around the post. And to make the quick getaway, all you do is pop that bite and then the other bite will pop just like so and now you're free to get away. So the, the tricky part in this, and I'm gonna tie it again just so you can see it, the tricky part lies in kind of holding the tension as you're tying it. So once you get that first bite around the object, again with the working end off to your left, that second bite, it, you can get confused and go this way. You really need, you just picture that working end on your right, always on the right, and you're gonna make three bites. So the other way you can think about this knot is the three bite knot. So next, another bite here, and then again, I'm gonna pull my working end to tighten. And as I'm holding that working end, I'm going to grab it and make another bite out of that. And then as I'm kind of holding that again, pull on what's now the standing part, what your horse is tied to, and it'll lock everything together. So this is great to use when you want to tie something up quickly, but I wouldn't recommend it for any kind of emergency operation where you're worried about saving a life. So nothing life-saving with this. Um, it can collapse a little bit under something like that under heavy load. Okay, so we've got our DIY knotboard display here. As you can see, we have now filled up the janky ship's wheel, so that is closed out. We're done with that part for our DIY knotboard display. You can see the highwayman's hitch is now represented on this, and we will start doing some other knots next time. So, as I've said before, I still really haven't figured out to do with the what to do with these ends yet, whether I'm gonna do kind of a secondary knot on each one of these. Um, I think that would be a cool way to display it too, but still working through that and I will update you on the next one. All right, thanks for watching the Knot of the Week. Remember, if you like what we're doing here, please share the video, send it to grandma. You know she shares stuff with you. She might need to know how to tie up a horse when she's robbing a stagecoach.